ये गल्फ के लिए जेनुअन इंटरव्यू है अगर आप भी आना चाहते हैं तो ऐसे ही तैयारी करें हेलो हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम अस्सलाम वरहमतुल्लाहि वबरकातहू कैसे हैं अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह और यू आई एम फाइन आई एम फाइन थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग वेयर आर यू फ्रॉम आई एम फ्रॉम बिहार ओके आई एम फ्रॉम बिहार आई एम फ्रॉम बिहार अरवल यू नो अरवल यस यस आई नो टेल मी अबाउट योरसेल्फ ओके माय नेम इज तारिक अनवर आई एम फ्रॉम बिहार इंडिया I have done my graduation in English honors, and along with that, I have completed in one year industrial safety management course, and along with that, I have also done NIBOS IGC, IOS, and as well OSHA. And then after, I am preparation for safety interview, so that's why I calling you because I have seen lots of videos on your on which your YouTube channel. Okay, okay. How many years your experience? Right now, to be honest with you, I have a, a one year experience, and I'm adding more and more. So yeah. Okay, where are you work? I'm work in uh, Chhattisgarh, RK Construction. For which position? As a safety officer. Okay, what type of job there? Uh, my basic role and responsibility there to implement uh, implement all the safety rules and to make all the people aware of the hazards and may um, and we have to also make ensure that to now which be type of which, which type of hazard uh, which type of job there which oh yeah the mechanical so, so construction or civil job or it's like a it's a it's like the fabric fabrication yards and there's a lots of like a uh equipment and welding work like grinding work cutting what is going on there okay that's yeah. good okay uh, you before telling me ki you have done iosh and bos igc also yeah um, yeah okay what is the full form of iosh institution of occupational safety and health it is a managing course okay okay what is safety Safety. It is a. It is a condition which gives you freedom from the hazard, accident, and major like accidents. Oh, okay. What is accident? The accident is an unplanned and unwanted sequence of bad event which leads to cause harm, injury, damage, property, and loss of some kinds. That is called accident. Okay. Classification of accident. uh there is a main types of accident like first aid accident minor injury minor injury casualty no what fatality. is the classification classification uh, should be the uh, classification like uh, that is the proper uh, by the uh, book or by the notes any uh, should be the qualification uh, classification one type two type three type four type what is the classification mainly the classified Sorry. yes i didn't i i don't say such kind of information okay before you hear lti yeah yeah lti lost time injury okay restricted yes, restricted work case rwc yeah 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 i A, got it got A, it yes. ntc medical treatment case and fsc first aid case first aid Yeah, to be honest with you, I am just I just knew two things like LTI and first aid. No, like that MTC. is the classification. That is the uh, accident classification, four types. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much for saying. Okay. Kind of What is the confined space? Sir, a confined space is a, a space with limited entry and egress, and also not suitable for human being to continue work there. That is called confined space, like okay. vessels. What is the main? What is the main hazards of confined space? So there are many hazards in confined space like presence of toxic and flammable gases, oxygen deficiency, oxygen enrichment, poor housekeeping, poor ventilation, suffocation, extreme temperature, fire explosion, improper action egress. Okay, what, the, what uh, is uh, the Okay, okay. That's good. What is the ratio of oxygen oxygen percentage? Uh the minimum ratio of oxygen percentage is 19.5% and yes. maximum is 23.5%. Okay. 
what is the LEL? Sir, LEL stands for lower explosion limit. It is the minimum concentration of particular combustible gas or vapor that is necessary to combustion in air known as the LEL for that gas or vapor. Okay. What is the properties of H2S? Like uh, H2S gas is a highly flammable and extremely hazardous gas and with a distinctive rotten air smell at low concentration. And it occurs naturally in crude and inorganic materials such as animal, human, human being, sewage. And so it is heavier than air and can collect in low laying enclosed poorly ventilated areas such as tank, tunnels, manholes. And H2S gas has a like a LEL 4.3% and UEL 46% if I am not correct. If I am not wrong, sir. Yes, yes, okay. 4 and 44, that is the LEL, uh, H2S of LEL 4 and, and UEL 44, that is the correct. Yes, sir. And H2S, and H2S gas are also... Ignition temperature is 260 degree and so when H2S, uh, H2S gas burn, so its product blue flame sulfur dioxide which is another toxic gas and it's highly corrosive with certain metals. Oh, mashallah, you gain the good knowledge uh, in the yeah. safety field. And, sir, and, let, and let me sir, tell you one more thing, add yes. in, in H2S. If present in H2S environment like 10 ppm, so that that's become TLV, threshold limit value. Yeah, just I am asking a, what is the STEL? Short term exposure limit. It is the 50 minutes for for the work. For the work, not for the escape only. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes. For the escape, yes. TLV that is the for work. STEL uh, means only the escape, not for the work. Oh. Okay. What is oh. the IDLH? So IDLH stands for immediately dangerous to life or health. Hmm. The hazard such a toxic gas and immediate threat to life or health. That is called IDLH. What is the, the PPM IDLH. of H2S IDLH? 100 PPM, sir. Yes, okay, good. Uh, you know the, what is the uh, radiographic test? Yes, sir. Radiography test is a X-ray welding to detect the effect in the metal to use X-ray and gamma rays. That is called radiography. Uh, yes. Uh, how you uh, control the uh, gamma ray? So, first of all, there are lots of conditions we are dependent on that. First of all, we have to be take a valid permit for that work. And yes. we have to also 10% allowed to work in this field. And we have to make a good housekeeping and we have to take proper information and like instruction about the job, about the equipment. And so we have to also wisely choose uh, like a PP for that work. And there's a like uh, especially especially like a, 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 a PP like film batch like that. Yes, but uh, how we control if the liberate the gamma ray radiation ray? Mm -hmm. How we control mm -hmm. by with object with uh, substance? Uh, I think uh, the film film batch like uh, no, film batch that is the uh, affected person he wear for the calculate yeah. how much he gain the, how much he take the radiation dose. Oh, we, okay. we control the gamma rays by the thick wall or concrete wall. Okay? Oh. Uh, yeah, and yeah. alpha ray also we uh, protect uh, the ray uh, by the any wood and uh, glass. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and alpha ray oh. and beta ray also. Uh, that is the theory protection. Uh, we different type of other other object. Okay, oh, you should you, be gain the knowledge sir. also sir. Uh, about that. Oh. Okay, what I is the gizer meter? Gizer meter. Yes. Sir, it is a measurement to measure uh, like uh, measure radiation. Okay. Uh, so what is excavation? Sir, excavation is a marking hole, tunnel, trench and digging any parts of ground by man or machine. That is called excavation. Okay. How we protect the excavation soil? For sir, there is a... Sorry, sir? Yes, yes. For cave in, how we protect the excavation soil? Sir, to... there is a four way to protect cave in. Yes. If any people are going inside the like, excavation, like... Uh, Benching, sloping, shielding, and one of the one of the like a uh, sloping. 
sorry 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 yes sorry that we yes. and uh, types of soil you know yes yeah, sir i know that yes tell me there are four types of soil like a stable rock yeah. type a mp and type c and every soil has a like own angle like type a uh 554 degree yes uh, yes b 45 degree and type c 34 degree yes very good you gain the good knowledge i am appreciate your knowledge because i see everywhere the safety officer he only hmm? call ki i am safety officer but he did not have the such type of knowledge i am very happy thank you sir keep taking your interview and you have the yes. good knowledge okay let me yes. about the how you inspect the scaffolding scaffolding sir yes what is the check first, point there what you check there first of, uh, first of all you have to make ensure that only competent persons are allowed to erect the scaffolding and you have to also also survey the job site and check condition of like stability of soil check condition of a uh, components like a uh, like a uh, and um, like uh, uh, mud seal sole board top, top rail mid rail brassing longitudinal brassing yes uh, like okay. ladders planks what is the kicker lift kicker lift yes sir i i just kicker lift so kicker lift used to um, sorry sir i forgot this okay uh, kicker lifts when we uh, extend the stander uh, for mm-hmm. the scaffolding making the first laser mm-hmm. entranum from the ground how height is the 150 yes yes 150 cm that yeah. we got that is that is that is called become 12 inch yes sir yes yes that is the kicker lift and types oh. of scaffolding you know what is the types of scaffolding yes sir there is a uh, many types of scaffolding as per construction or yes. as per osha standards like a duty okay now do you want to types of scaffolding tell me like a mobile scaffolding and lever scaffolding yeah. like hanging scaffolding independent scaffolding but caging scaffolding yes that is and so according to osha there are three types of scaffolding as per capacity like light duty 25 pound per square feet yes medium yes. duty in 50 pound per square feet Mm. and heavy duty 75 pound per square feet and you have to also check the in scaffolding heavy it also heavy route also made by like a sorry sir exit route also made by heavy duty yes okay and what yes. is the angle of ladder sir angle of ladder should be 75 degree yes yeah and for each to one is you okay what is the height of two board sir for two so generally according to their like uh, work but but uh, generally height to, to height to about of 4 to 50 inch what is the height 4 to 4 15 inch am i right 4 to 15 15 15 okay minimum that is the you should be given to answer 4 uh, inch that is the minimum yes yeah, yes okay. sir minimum yes yes, yes sir. okay what is the height of mid rail So mid rail is uh, like a uh, 12 to 18 inch. 12 to 18 inch. Okay. And what is the top rail? That according to sir, 35 to 45 inch. The yes. top rail, the top guardrail should be placed 38 to 45 inch above oh, the deck. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you have good knowledge about the safety, and you also uh, first and last last our question is, what is the NFPA? Yes. Sir. Uh, it is a it's come from national fire protection protection association mm-hmm. and it's a fire diamond to provide a chemical information about hazards to the like material energy yes and there's a and there's just a four color and every color has a own meaning and own information like red fire hazard blue health hazard white specific hazard and yellow reactivity hazards and so there's a five scale 0 to 4 0 yes. is neutralized and for more hazards to the like a human beings to the environment so we should use as per scale yes yes okay good good okay uh, i'm very happy i'm taking your interview you have good knowledge yeah. about the safety 
after that uh, from my side you are selected for the safety officer our hr really, team sir? yes yes our hr Thank team you. yes our hr team will contact you regarding the your salary and uh, everything okay. what you need you ask to him from my side you are selected for the safety officer job okay oh, thank you thank you so much from my heart sir and from inspiration like you because i have seen all of video of your channels and i got inspiration from your like sites because you did like many good things for us because you did many make a video for us like for people who needed this this kind of videos so that's why i gain knowledge from your channels and okay. your thoughts and that's why okay, i'm able to you. do this kind of okay, i'm very happy you. for you sir because you did very good things okay allah bless you and give you good health okay thank you thank you